Okay guys, in this book review we're talking about The Vanishing Hitchhiker, American Urban Legend and Their Meanings by Jan Harald Brunvand. So, let me first start off by saying that this is a topic that deals uh, more with anthropology and folklore than anything else. I'm not a folklorist, I'm not an anthropologist, um, but my fiancé is an anthropology PhD at the University of Iowa, so... We've got this stuff just lying around the apartment, and I kind of picked it up one day, and I gotta say, actually, out of all the books I've read, even including the stuff on history, this is one of my favorite, because just going through this, I was surprised at how many of these I actually knew. So, this is a book written, uh, I guess, in the vein of, like, popular history, popular anthropology, in that... It's written for a generalized audience, not really a uh, specialized audience. So it's, this is not a monograph written strictly for, like, PhDs. This is written for, like, the average guy. Now, what's fascinating about this book, first of all, it goes into every, well, not every, a great deal of uh, American urban legends and American folklore. So if, like me, you are a citizen of the United States and you pick this up, there's a lot that probably is going to stand out to you. Um, you know, the legend of the guy going after the car with the hook hand. The uh, dead boyfriend hanging by his neck on a noose above the car, you know, suspended from a tree branch, um, etc. The, the killer in the backseat. I'm just going through, like, the table of contents here. You know, spider in the hairdo, right? So the, the woman who has a... a hairstyle that she doesn't wash for a certain number of months and spiders lay eggs in it and then they come down and kill her stuff like that um so what this book does very well is yeah on the one hand it, it communicates and it and it uh i guess compiles the folklore of the united states into one volume well one one concise volume but what brunvand who is one of the leading american folklorists alive today who is still researching um does is he mixes in a lot of academic terminology and explains very well how precisely professional folklorists and anthropologists that work on like urban legends etc how they go about conducting their craft how to uh you know trace back through newspapers and and other uh written documents how to trace urban legends and folklore back through those to try to pinpoint where stuff originates. He even goes into how to do this orally, which is, if it's anything like doing oral history, is a pain like you would not believe because stuff isn't written down, so he had to trace it in a very specific manner. Um, and he also references constantly a lot of the literature on it. So this is something that if you're interested in folklore and urban legends, this is, if you know nothing about it, this should be the first thing you read. If you are familiar with some of the literature, you need to read this anyway, because this is an excellent uh, addition, not only to the growing body of literature on American folklore and American urban legends, but it serves as a shining example of how to, how do I want to put this, how to correctly, uh, I guess, communicate information that typically would be very specialized down to the broader public and how to do it in such a way that it leaves people more or less hungry for more. Um, book's not that long. It weighs in at like 180 pages, not including 15 pages of just glossary and index. Every chapter, every, well, not every chapter, I guess every set of essays in this comes with an extensive bibliography. So if you're interested in anything, uh, Brunvan not only tells you the specific literature you should look at, but it also tells you about, you know, all the sources he got, where they're located, how to go about accessing them, etc. So, like I said, I'm not a folklorist, I'm not an anthropologist, so I'm not going to comment really too much on the uh, methodology that he's using, because I'm not overly familiar with the niceties of it. But, like I said, pick this up, check it out. Until then, I will see you next time.